secret agent K-7 returns. Number one adventurer, K-7, former United States secret agent who operated in 22 countries, on land, on sea, and in the air, brings you a story of today. We take you to K-7's headquarters. This is secret agent K-7 speaking. Send in special agent M for assignment. At once, K-7. Special agent M, reporting for duty. Agent M, we believe this city to be the headquarters of a group plotting to overthrow this country's government. Spies and sympathizers already in the country are being armed. Last night, a brewer's cart loaded with hand grenades was seized at the border. Here's one of the grenades. They were concealed in supposedly empty barrels. The complete information is in these reports. Read them. That's all. The case is yours. studied the records, then decided upon his course of action. He knew that the dealers in illegal armaments have their own espionage systems, and so he decided to look for his first lead in a city hundreds of miles away in another country. The next day, a woman arrived at a great London hotel. She was reported to be an agent from the Far East who came to buy munitions. Within a few hours after arrival, she received several telephone calls. Hello. This is Mr. L speaking. Mr. L, my name is Lothar Owen. I represent the Continental Syndicate. Yes. I understand you are here to place a large order. I would like to come up and talk with you. Now, I've had several calls already, Miss Rowan. I've had to turn down most of them. The men I represent are reliable. We can deliver any place in the world. And we do not fear any country's laws. Very well. I will see you in an hour, Miss Rowan. Come to my rooms. Miss Rowan. Yes. Come in. Thank you. Sit down. Again, thank you. I may as well be frank. I am here to buy hand grenades. They are to be used in street fighting at close range. I'm not interested in rifles or machine guns. I see. I am prepared to spend $500,000. Half will be paid in cash when the shipment is put aboard ships which I designate. The balance will be paid on delivery. You are very businesslike. Unless you are new to this business, you know it is full of swindlers. I am not buying cases filled with stones. Everything will be examined carefully. If you have what I want and are willing to do business on my terms, I'm ready to talk with you. I think we can get along, Miss Durell. You know where to locate hand grenades? Oh, yes. Of course, they are not in this country. I am prepared to fly to any city on the continent. I want to examine them. There are supplies of hand grenades close by. They were made for the syndicate and delivered within the last three months. They are not for a sale, but we can deliver supplies like them in any amount. If you would like to examine them... That's exactly what I want to do, as soon as possible. Name the city where I am to meet you, and I will be there tomorrow night. (laughs) 
Yvonne Durell left by airplane that night. The next day, she reported to her superior, Special Agent M, in a distant continental city. Your trap worked. It was quite simple, M. I hardly arrived in London before my telephone began to ring. I was offered every type of armament, but Lota Rowan was the only agent who knew where I could locate hand grenades. Lota Rowan? She's dangerous, Ivan. She was expelled from one country only a few weeks ago. She's never been arrested, yet she's been involved many times. What's our next move? When are you to meet Lota Rowan? Tonight. She is to call for me at my hotel. Good. Keep the appointment. I'll follow you. Inspect the grenades and, if possible, get a sample. Then tell her to see you tomorrow. As soon as she leaves you, report back here. Lota Rowan kept her appointment. Early in the evening, Yvonne entered a large black car and was driven away from her hotel. However, instead of being taken into the country as she expected, the car turned into a fashionable business street. Do you have hand grenades stored here, on this street? The authorities would never dream of searching such establishments as these. Driver, stop at that antique... Wait, is there anything wrong? A car has just turned the corner behind us. It has followed us for several blocks. Driver, slow up until it passes. That car can't be following us. It's stopping. But we're not. Driver, turn right back to Mr. L's hotel. Yes, ma'am, sir. But what are the hand grenades? You were going to let me inspect them. I will call for you tomorrow, Miss Jarrell. Lothar Rowan never takes chances, even for a half-million-dollar order. This is K-7 speaking. K-7, this is Agent M. Something went wrong. The car which called for Ivan slowed up in front of an antique shop, then speeded away. I'm going back to the shop. If Ivan calls you, send her to me. Tell her to come at once. A few minutes later, Agent M stood before the antique shop and studied a Ming vase in the window. The shop seemed deserted. As M waited, a truck turned from the street into a small alley which led to the rear of the store. As he watched the truck, Yvonne arrived. M. M. Yvonne, I'm glad you're here. What happened? I think the hand grenades are in this antique shop, M. We were almost here. We were about to stop when Lota Rowan saw a car following. She had just mentioned the antiques, and then she ordered the driver back to my hotel. Yvonne, we've got to act tonight. A truck just drove around behind this shop. If you're right, it may mean the munitions are to be moved. It doesn't take much to arouse a munitions smuggler's suspicions. M. There's an old man in the shop. He's watching us. Point to the mink uh, uh, vase, Ivan. We'll try to get him to let us in. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? I want it. Do you see him? Yes. I'm going to knock on the door. We want to buy the mink vase. Come back tomorrow. The shop is closed. We're tourists. We're leaving town tonight. Will you sell it to us? He's tempted him. I'll try. Please let us buy it tonight. He's coming to the door. Come back in the morning. The shop is closed for the night. Oh, please let us buy it now. Our train leaves soon. I saw the vase, and it matches one I have. Please, I'll give you 5,000 francs for it. We'll only step in while you wrap it. Uh, the price is 8,000 francs. Well, I'll pay eight. All right, come in. You will stand here in the front. I'll get the vase and wrap it for you. Uh, you have the money? Oh, yes, right here. Uh, bring the vase out of the window, please. It will only take a minute. When he goes into the back of the shop to pack the vase, I'm going to try and follow him. I want you to stand here and keep talking as if you were speaking to me. All right, Em. He's got the vase and he's coming back. Well, here's your money, old man. 8,000 francs. Uh, yes. I will put the vase in a box for you. Wait here. It will only take a minute. All right, Ivan. He's gone to the rear room. I am going to follow him. Start talking. I'm so glad we saw it in the window. It'll match the vase we have at home perfectly. Of course, I didn't think it would be so expensive, but it's really worth it. We'll have one for each side of the fireplace now. And I'm positive they're exactly the same. Every detail. 
You fool, why did you let them in? We've got to get the hand grenades out of here tonight. I had to get rid of them. That woman would have stood there in front of the window all night. So now do you know who they are? Ah, Doris, Doris. I put this vase in a box. Well, hurry up. The truck is at the back door. We'll have to make four or five trips to get all the cases out. Uh, it is all foolishness. Not one, no one. Not even the police would suspect we stored munitions here. Uh, <laughs> here, what are you doing here? I told you to wait in the front of the store. Put up your hands, both of you. You see, I am interested in more than your Ming vase, Count Padova. You know my name. You are the police. I am a special agent investigating munition smuggling. Keep your hands over your heads and walk out into the front of the store. Not so fast, Monsieur Special Agent. You see this hand grenade? Unless you put your gun down, I release the trigger. Drop it or I'll shoot. He's released the trigger. Run, it would explode. Report, K-7. I located one munitions drop in the antique shop of Count Padova. Count Padova attempted to throw a hand grenade. I was forced to shoot. The shop was destroyed in the explosions that followed. Both munitions smugglers were killed. My assistant Ivan and I escaped. This book showing the addresses of other munitions drops was taken from the safe found in the ruins of the shop. All addresses shown have been raided. Lothar Rhone had disappeared. I believe she had left the country. <laughs> Regular supplies of arms are scarce. Munitions, smugglers, and traders find hidden arms outside the regular markets. Such secret arms smuggled into neutral countries have preceded the downfall of every nation that has passed from existence. Listen for my next story. This is K7 speaking. Mm-hmm.